A red HTC One variant vanishes from the HTC website. Asus teases a new metallic miracle coming to MWC, and LG teases an LG Optimus F7 among others. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I do wish that coffee was fed intravenously. This is Pocket Now Daily. Now have a look at this interesting new case. Even though HTC did not mention a red variant of the HTC One, Steven and I were covering the news yesterday and we noticed that there was a red variant being mentioned in the website. And you can even select it and notice how the HTC One looked in red. Now, interesting enough, it's no longer available in the website and it just begs to wonder if this is a mistake that just happened on the website or if there really will be a red variant coming in the future. So stay tuned. Now speaking of the HTC One, the benchmarks are in and this device smokes everything out there. Absolutely everything. The Snapdragon 600 does prove to be at least 25% faster than just about everything in the market. So don't let me bore you with the numbers, hit the links and get the full details on the numbers. But so far, just remember, numbers are one thing on paper and then there's real world performance. So stay tuned for our review and we'll tell you if that's the real deal. Now get this, apparently that Snapdragon 600 is so good, the new reports have Sammy even ditching the Exynos 5 Octa for the next Galaxy S4. Apparently that Snapdragon 600 could power the Galaxy S4, at least in some markets, and apparently it has to do with that Adreno GPU that's included in the Snapdragon. So stay tuned, obviously these are rumors and it's probably too early to know just yet, but so far it does seem like that processor is really all that. Now let's move over to MWC. LG has just brought out their first teaser and we've also got some leaks, but sadly they don't match with the previous teasers that we had. Apparently LG was planning a new product uh, brand to be launched at MWC and all we have is an Optimus F7 and F5 along with a teaser that mentions freedom a lot, but not really anything concrete. So stay tuned, obviously. Tony and Michael will be at the event and they'll bring you all the goods once they happen. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, ASUS has also provided their MWC 2013 teaser, which is actually a very cool video, kind of interesting, and it provides details on apparently a new metallic miracle happening for MWC. The question is, what do they mean? I mean, their Transformer, Pad Infinity, whatever numbers, have been good products, but they sadly have not taken off, and the same case goes for the ASUS Pad Phone. Hopefully they will be as popular as the Nexus 7, but obviously it begs to wonder if the market will behave as well as the products are so that leads me to the question of the day what do you think about android tablets i mean are you planning to get an android tablet this year so far they have been good products the nexus 7 has been a great tablet but sadly they haven't taken off as well as the ipad so it begs to wonder if good products don't necessarily mean good sales so leave us a comment down below what do you think and if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. It's been three months and 18 days since the original launch of the Nokia Lumia 920. At first, we were all amazed by the first smartphone with optical civilization on the camera, but then we were all dismayed by that fake advertisement that pretty much tarnished the PureView brand. So the question is, how has the device stacked up after some real world use? Well, Michael Fisher has just prepared his After the Buzz, so join us on Thursday, February 21st for the Nokia Lumia 920 After the Buzz.